guys, it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me using all of my new Sephora um, makeup that I recently bought for from the Sephora VIP sale. There's a couple of other things that I got from ColourPop and PR. I didn't get anything for the eyes in the haul, so from the Sephora sale. I um, decided to use the new Mandalorian eye palettes that I got from ColourPop recently and um so i shared that so it's basically just a full look from foundation all the way to lips oh all the way to hair actually i'm showing you guys um an entire look and this is what i have been wearing recently as far as like the base goes the blush the foundation the concealer all that kind of stuff the powder um so it's kind of like my updated makeup routine as well as just trying some new products that i haven't tried yet or that i just recently got so i hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching i hope you guys all have a wonderful day don't forget to follow me on instagram if you haven't already it's at sam sherman s-a-m-s-c-h-u-e-r-m-a-n subscribe if you're new give me a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this everything's going to be linked in the description box below i will also put it in the comment section so if there's anything that you see here it'll be linked just go ahead and click on that link it'll take you right on over and let's go ahead and get started. I have already done my skincare, which uh, one of the items I actually did get from the haul, it was the Sunday Riley CEO. I'm back to using that. I was like looking back at old videos of mine and my skin was looking so glowy. And so I looked to see what I was using and it was the CEO. And then for some reason I ran out of it and I never repurchased it. So I repurchased, repurchased it in the sale. And I feel like already my skin is like starting to look so much more like even and glowy. So love that. I'll link that down below. For foundation out of the sale, I got the Dior Forever Skin Glow. The color is 4N. <clears throat> so it's a little bit dark for me. So I like to mix it with the Color Stay from Revlon, um, the combination oily, in 330 Natural Tan. You do want to shake this up really well. Alone, it wasn't quite enough coverage for me. Um, and so I like mixing it with the color shade because it gives it a little bit extra coverage and then it makes it last really, really well to, like all day, but together they're really pretty. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually do, um, the Duelist Matte and Illuminating Concealer. This is the medium and I just take the actual stick side. Don't even know what happened there, but I got the ginormousest, ginormousest, the most ginormous sit. Uh, I pretty much think I've ever had in my life. And then a friend popped up right beside it. So it was a double whammy. You get a little bit of powder. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay. You don't want to get too much. It's just a little bit, but you want something really translucent. And then you set that in place before you do your foundation and it seems to like hold it down so much better so that when you put your foundation over it it covers really really well and it doesn't look cakey or anything it's quite amazing i'm gonna do three pumps of the revlon color stay and then i do because these pumps are so much smaller i do four pumps of the dior what is it called forever skin glow i keep forgetting what it's called and i mix those together and then together it makes the most perfect color <clears throat> sorry that's really annoying but it just feels like I have something like <clears throat> you know um okay so I got this new sponge I'm interested to try it out we'll see if it's good it was actually so Lily wanted to place like a big she in order for her Christmas gifts um and I saw these on there and you get like all of these sponges and it was super duper cheap but it's the exact same size as my elf one that I paid six dollars for but instead, I think I paid like $7 and I got all of those. And it's actually bigger. So I'm going to try it out and see if it's any good because <clears throat> I love the e.l.f. sponge. But if I can get this even cheaper than Cool Beans. Seems to be putting the product down nicely. It's a little bit bigger than the e.l.f. one. Once the e.l.f. one, obviously the e.l.f. one is dry right now, so it's a little smaller. But I did compare them when they were both wet. And this one is just a little bit bigger. Also, I forgot to take off my lip gloss. Hold on. We don't want that on there. So yeah, the Dior Glow by itself is just a little too sheer for me. It's a pretty, like it's a very pretty, very skin-like, very natural foundation. But I need a little, a little bit of coverage. Like I like something just a little bit more. So I feel like if you mix it um, with the color stay 
it's really really pretty and it lasts all day long and it looks so beautiful but because it's like that forever skin glow I think the whole point of the foundation is to give you like a really pretty glow it lasts all day but you have this like beautiful glow that doesn't get too greasy which is really cool and I haven't turned on my ring light today I really just don't like doing my makeup with the ring light on so I'm hoping that the lighting is gonna be okay. I know it's a little dark over here. The sun is literally like right on this side, so hopefully it's not too bad. But it's kind of nice when you mix them together because the, the Revlon Color Stay can be a little much. Like it's pretty full coverage. So this kind of shears the Revlon Color Stay down, but then the Revlon Color Stay builds. They're like the perfect combo. The Revlon Color Stay like builds up the Dior, but the Dior shears down the Color Stay. <laughs> but then you get the glow, and then you also get the long-lasting oil control of the Revlon, so it's like the perfect mixture. I'm going to very gently powder my chin another time. This sit has been so big that this is what I've had to do to cover it, because it was so red and so inflamed that it was just a real situation. Okay, so you just do a very light layer this seems like a lot, but the powder is very thin, so it's not like I'm caking on a bunch of thick powder. Then I'm going to get just a tiny little squirt of each one, like not even a full pump. Mix that together. I'm just going to go. Back in. I'm also going to hit those ones again because I do have two zits on me neck at the moment. I don't know what's going on with my skin. I still think like, I honestly think that ever since I had my surgery, like my skin has been doing some wild things and I'm like, what is going on? Like, I feel like my skin has been so good for so long. And then I had that surgery and like, <clears throat> my skin's just been freaking out ever since. It's, I don't know. It's just taking so long for it to like get back to normal. So who knows but it was very very big that's it it was horrible this is the one that i always use from sephora it's the milk makeup i love it and this is the makeup that i have been wearing um like basically ever since i got the dior i've been wearing this combo the first time i tried it just alone and i didn't love it i thought it was oh. do you see that i thought it was pretty but it just wasn't quite enough coverage for me, especially, oh, that's so annoying, since my skin has been a little bit crazy right now. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the e.l.f. Uh, this is the camo concealer. I literally just put it right there just to brighten it up a little bit. This is in the color light peach. It just kind of brightens up the face when you add that little bit of light peach there. I like it when it, it brightens up like right towards the edge of the face. And this sponge is actually a little smoother feeling than the e.l.f. one. It feels like a little bit of a smoother texture, which maybe that will be good because it'll smooth everything out really well. I don't know. Okay, so foundation is done. Then I got a new highlighter. This is from Givenchy. And it is called the Pris Prism Lib... I don't know how you say this right, okay? it's I'm not good at languages, especially not French. It says Prisme Libre Highlighter. Is it Prism Libra? I don't know. Anyway, it's limited edition. It's in the color 10 Organza. And it's like this. It's really cute packaging. And it basically comes with like a little puff, which I don't use the puff for highlight. That's just not precise enough for me. But that's what it looks like. And then you just like kind of tip, tip it and tap it into the lid. I still think the Laura Mercier is prettier. And I do think it's, a, I think it's more affordable if I'm correct, I could be wrong, but I think it's cheaper. I mean, this is Givenchy, so I'm assuming it's a little bit more. I just think the Laurier, the Laurier. <laughs> I just think the Laura Mercier one is just so beaming and so beautiful and so lightweight that Nothing beats it. It's just so pretty. So I would definitely save the money and go with the Laura Mercier one, which I will show you in a minute. This one is just not quite beaming enough for me. It's a little bit 
it's kind of more on the rose gold side and I like something a little bit more um, champagne kind of vanilla toned so you see how it's just not like it's pretty it's a pretty highlight I'm not gonna say it's not pretty but <clears throat> I think it would be better on someone with like a slightly deeper skin tone I think that would be really beautiful I just like my highlights to like really lighten up and beam and for me like it's it is glowy but I need a little bit more brightness so that's what that one looks like this is the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder in light catcher or I'm sorry this color is celestial light so I'm gonna put it on on one side so you guys can see the difference because this one is just so pretty it also seems to glide on the skin a little easier and what I like about it is that I can I can take it all the way underneath my eye and then it just glows up your whole entire face okay so see there's that side versus that side so you can see this one is still glowy but this one is beaming and I want to beam that's why I would I would recommend the Laura Mercier one over the Givenchy so for my bronzer I have gone back to my beauty counter one I was using the Mac give me sun for so long and I absolutely love it like it's so pretty I feel like I have a hair somewhere I did I got it um but I feel like it was breaking me out I mean I don't know what's going on with my skin right now but it seems like my jaw just keeps breaking out so I just stopped using the Mac this one is in the color Dune um, and it is a really good color it has like a nice bit of redness to it so it kind of warms up the face if you're you know tan a lot of the ones like I was trying out all my other ones that I have and when you self tan and then you put on a, a, a bronzer that's not got enough warmth you look so muddy and so ashy and it literally looked like I just had gray bronzer all over me and I was like oh my god no so I used the Too Faced one in the heart I used Nars Laguna um, I used another one from Too Faced and I was like oh what that's horrendous so we're just going with the Dune the Dune or the Give Me Sun the Give Me Sun is my favorite because it's so, the texture of it is just oh so beautiful like it just is so pretty on the skin however I do feel like Mac products like whenever I use Mac products my skin just doesn't seem to do as well so as much as I love them it's just too risky you don't want to risk it for the biscuit you can't go all that time having great skin and then all of a sudden your skin goes to crap again it's so depressing so we're just gonna go back to the products that worked and I know this one does not it does not break me out it's a little bit more probably natural I'm assuming cleaner ingredients so I just go under here and then I really try to like take it up a little higher right where that wrinkle is I feel like I'm starting to get a little jowl situation going on which is always fun so I try to like go up a little higher to kind of disguise that silly little thing <clears throat> right there where it starts to drop I just take it up a little higher and then whatever is left on my brush oh I just got my bra I just kind of bring down just so that everything blends there's nothing worse than like going out in the sun and your face and neck is all tan and then it doesn't blend into the chest and then I'm just gonna oh I just hit pan on this I just hit pan. <laughs> then I get a little pointed brush and I just do a little line right there and it lifts your nose up. It makes it look so it's not so long. Look at that. Hit pan, winning. I love when you hit pan. I don't know why, like you shouldn't love that. But it's just like so rewarding because you're like, I like this product. I used it all the way till I hit pan. This is the Glow Skin Beauty Blush in Soleil, which is so pretty and I absolutely love it because it's just a glow. It's like a really pretty sheen to the cheek, so it kind of just marries. We're not focused, are we? No, it wants to focus on my shoes. Um 
it just kind of marries the highlight and the blush into one and then we're going to use a topper which i've been using that i got from the sephora vib sale and it is amazed okay so i did get a new powder i saw this from rose and ben on tiktok well i saw it on instagram i try to get into tiktok and i just don't know there's so much cussing on there there's so much like naked girls i mean not that i have a problem with nakedness i mean i'm not a weirdo i'm not a prude but sometimes it's just a little much you know and it's like i just it just makes me feel so old so like i try to get into tiktok and then i'm like i look at it and then i'm like Oh, I just find it to be so cringy sometimes that I just can't do it and then I go back to Instagram So I guess I'm showing my age here, but you know what? Aren't we all? So this is the Givenchy prism Pris it says prisme libra. I don't know how you pronounce that But it's the matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder in the color three rose so it looks like this and again it has oh i've just put out so much product that was not intended it's quite pink actually so you think oh gosh is this too pink for me but it just it goes into the skin so beautifully and then i got a pack of these little babies i saw rose and ben using these so i was like oh, i'm gonna get these these were on shein i think i got five for two dollars so it's got like a little you know i actually haven't used these yet because they literally just came in but i think what she does is she pats it on the back of her hand so that there's not too much product. And then I'm pretty sure she just kind of presses it into the skin. But because it's like this little triangle, it's like fits so well. That's quite nice. It's funny because I've used it with the brush ever since I got it. And I will say that this is definitely making it look smoother because when she does it, it like smooths out her under eye so well. And I'm like, why isn't it doing that on me? Like, what the heck? But I've been using it with a brush. And now that I'm doing it with this little doodad, I don't know if she got hers from Shein, but they look exactly the same. I mean, I feel like they're all the, it's all the same Alibaba crap, isn't it? <laughs> really? Let's be real here. People buy it on Alibaba. They sell it on Amazon or Shein or whatever I'm just really focusing on the areas that I have big pores it's kind of nice because it really contours the nose as well actually this is a great little puff oh my god I love it look how smooth that is I have no pores right there omg omg does she do it all over her face I cannot remember but I'm just gonna tap, tap, tappy on, I'm just gonna press it in on all the areas that I have like some major pores in my life. But I definitely think like the padding on the back of the hand, it really makes it so that you're not getting like too much product. And then it's like pressing it into the puff. Sorry, I just got distracted there. It really does smooth out with the puff. Like, so smooth. So poreless. Wow. I always like to really shove it into that line right there. It's amazing how much, like, these smoothing powders can just really fill in wrinkles. I mean, it's just unbelievable to me. And it's so funny because I feel like people think like as you get older, you should not wear powder. And I feel like if it's the right powder and it's done in the right way, it can be very, very beneficial. You just have to make sure you're getting the right kind of powder. See how smooth my face looks? Woohoo! So exciting. So now I'm just gonna get a little bit on the brush. This is the brush that I usually use. And I'm just gonna tap it over like the cheek area. I don't wanna go crazy. It does take a lot longer to do this the puff so i've basically just gotten it in all of the areas that i really like have pores that are big and i feel like i am so smooth so that is that powder but doesn't it look so pretty it is really gorge it's just this i mean it's amazing how much smoothing it does once you do it with that puff so i'll link these ones i got them on shein i'll also link that big sponge because i got a ton of them 
and it's really a good deal and it would be great if you wanted to do it for get, like stocking stuffers or something because you could get the whole entire thing it comes in a tub and then you could you know split it up but I like this this shape specifically so good I'm gonna go ahead and do my baking and I always like to bake with this one even though it's not available anymore so I feel really bad but this is the ultimate brush off Universal from Urban Decay. They came out with it and then like lasted like hardly any time and then they discontinued it. Like it makes no sense to me, but what do I know? Keep in mind I am really oily, so I can pack on powder and it will be gone in a half an hour. So if you're dry, I wouldn't you probably don't need to do like quite as much. But if you're oily it's a necessary situation because otherwise you are just a greasy grimy mess I'm just gonna pop it there so I, I like to use this one because it has a little bit of like a kind of yellowness to it so it definitely makes it so that I'm not ashy in any way okay and then this is the Ben Nye super white I actually feel like this other powder did a great job of brightening but I'm just gonna do a little bit in the inner corner just because I like to have an extra bright little, I just like, to, I like the way it looks on me. I don't know what, but it just kind of like really brightens the whole under eye. And then by the time you add your blush and your spray and everything, obviously this is a lot right now. So it, it all melts in once I spray it. So um, I didn't get any brow stuff cause I love the brow combo that I've been doing lately. So I will show you that, but I do need to bring my mirror down because um, I can't see. Mm -hmm. um, I like to make sure that my brows are nice and powdered because otherwise this product doesn't stick on there as well. And then it just kind of slips off. As you can see. Oh, my eyebrows are just... Sad life. So this one is the L'Oreal... And I think it's the Brow Stylist Definer. Brow Stylist Definer in the color Dark Blonde. I love this. It's absolutely amazing. So I like to fill in the whole end and then I leave that front bit. And then I do the same thing on this side. Then I take the uh, NYX Professional Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in the color Ash Brown. It's a little actual pen. And this is great because you can make little brush strokes in the beginning. And I like to use it throughout the end bit to just create little hair strokes so it looks like really like more natural like hair. Oh, Schneikers, did you see that one? Sometimes the ink can be a little inconsistent. And that was the perfect example. So as it gets going, then it really goes for it. So that one didn't do anything. And then this side was like, oh, hey, Ooh, wrong side. If that happens, just get your spoolie. And just very softly brush it out. So that's done. Now I take the Physician's Formula Brow Shaping Gel. This is in the color Soft Taupe. And then I'm gonna take the Found Highlighter Duo I like to just brush I like to just take that underneath my brow and it really just helps to kind of clean up everything and like make it look really nice and precise please do not mind the peanut gallery 
I've seen people say, why doesn't she put them in another room? Our house is tiny. Anywhere I put them, you will hear them. And if I just go and lock them up in my bedroom, which is like the furthest spot from me right now, you will still hear them and they will just sit there and cry and whine because they are naughty. They're very cute, but they're very noisy. Moo was so quiet. She just was like the best dog ever. Like I feel like such a jerk sometimes. Like does anyone else do that? It makes me feel like I'm just like the worst person ever, but like obviously I love my dogs. I don't think we need to like go into that. But Moo was such a good dog that sometimes I'm like, wow, these dogs are terrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she was so easy to train. She was so chill. She was so quiet. She was just such a good dog. And then these two, noisy. I mean, all they do is just bark. And so it just makes me like really miss Moo sometimes. And then I feel guilty because I'm like, God, I'm like such a bad dog mom. I like think about my, my other dog all the time, but she was just so good. She was so easy. She just, she, she never needed to be on the leash. She would stay right next to me. These two run away. If the door opens and someone's not paying attention, they bolt. So I've literally had to like run around the neighborhood in heels one time because we came back from the doctor and Fiona got out ran all the way around the neighborhood. I'm like running, trampsing through people's yards, trying to catch her. Like, I mean, she's just so naughty. She just runs. Moo never did that. Like it was just such a chill, she was such a chill dog that it just like sometimes makes me feel like, wow, I don't know if these dogs seem worse <laughs> because she was so good or if they are just actually naughty. So I don't know, it's hard to tell. Okay, so for my lip liner, I'm going to use the Sephora Contour Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the color Creme de la Creme. I bought two other ones and I did not like the color. They were, I got them in the sale and they were so, um, they were so dark on me. They looked awful. The thing that's nice about these ones is that they're so creamy that they glide on so easily but you can fill in the whole lip and they feel like lipstick, like they're really creamy. Oh, am I almost out of this? Oh, typical. I could have got, ah, I could have got a new one of this. What did I use it today? Oh, it's already past the sale, gosh darn it. Then I am gonna take a little bit of the Laneige. My lips have been actually really dry lately. I haven't been using this because I've been lazy. I've just been putting my lipstick on right on top of the lip liner and I noticed that my lips were really dry, so don't miss that step. This I got in the, the sale. This is the Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury. This is really pretty, you guys. I absolutely love the tone of this color. It's very similar to Plain Koi from MAC. It's nice and light and peachy. It's also a really nice creamy consistency, so it is really beautiful. I'm gonna wipe that off. And then I got this in the sale. This is Not Today, number 30 from, it's like the Sephora Glossed. This is really pretty. See how it just like really glosses up the lips? So I didn't actually get anything in the Sephora sale as far as eyes go, but I did just get these from ColourPop, they're new. So I figured, I haven't tried them yet. So I figured we could try them together. So um, we've got the Star Wars Mandalorian, such a cute little palette. This has a great color right here. It's like this really perfect crease color. It's called Just Like a, what is it? Just Like a Tatooine. I don't know what that is. I don't watch Star Wars, so I have no idea what anything Star Wars related is. I had this boyfriend who was like obsessed with it. And I remember when we first started dating, this was like my first um, well, no, it wasn't my first boyfriend, but I was 16, so I was, like, young, and, um, I went to his house one day, I think we ditched school, actually, oh, rebel, <laughs> pretty sure we ditched, and he's like, oh, we should go back to my house and watch Star Wars all day, and I was like, freaking life, Star Wars, like, that's the last thing I want to do, but I did it, and I'm pretty sure I fell asleep while he was watching the Star Wars. So I never actually watched it because I fell asleep like in the first the first one. 
because that's how I just don't like Star Wars I just cannot get into them like all the Marvel movies I think they're great I think those are fun I love them specifically Thor because he's my boyfriend but if there's not a hottie or a romantic situation going on I don't like movies I'm just really not a movie person I'm much more of a a reality TV show person like I just don't care for movies unless there's a hottie like we just watched King Arthur the movie itself I thought was terrible there was no love scene oh, no love scene no love interest no one kissing I'm like what is this I'm not watching this but he was super hot and I loved his haircut so it made it worth it because he was like really cute so if there's a hottie for me to watch then there doesn't have to be a, I mean there should be a love scene but I'll let it slide but um, he's super hot Charlie Hedman he was delicious in that movie okay now we have a couple of other colors this one is in the Star Wars Mandalorian wait a minute what's this one called oh so this one's called the child this one's called the Mandalorian so we've got two colors right here so I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth into these ones this palette is actually a little ashier than I thought so I'm hoping that yellow will kind of warm it up a little bit. Just add a little something in there because the other color was a little gray on me. It's funny because it did not look gray at all, did it? I just pull ash so easily. That's why I always stick with like really warm colors because otherwise I look like super gray. That's cute. There is like this really pretty color right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is start building up the crease. I've just put on the heater and I put it up too high, I think. This is what happens is Jay turns it down at night to 68. And then I wake up in the morning and then I'm here by myself. And I'm like doing try-ons or doing my makeup and it's like freezing. It's okay when you're in bed because you have a comforter on. But when you're like naked and trying stuff on, it's so cold. So then I, I just turned it up to 73 and now I'm sweating. So I just need to like take a break and go turn it down for a sec. So let me finish this. And I will turn down the heater to maybe like 70. Oh wow. They're just looking so ashy on me. How strange. It's fine, it's a different look than I normally do. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of soften out this darkness up here with the other brush that I used first. With my finger, I'm just gonna go into Clan of Two. It looks so amazing, so I just feel like I'm gonna pop it in. Yes, that's amazing. Okay, isn't that so pretty? It's like this really pretty green, it has a shift. So next I'm going to take this color right here. This is called Creed. It's like a really warm brown with some sparkles. And I'm going to do, oh, I haven't done my lower lash line yet. Hold on. I'm getting all excited. I was like so excited to finish off the look that I forgot. So I'm just going to go back in with these two right here. Then I'm going to go into the little, this guy. I don't know what his name is. It just shows how much I know about Star Wars. Literally nothing. And then I'm just gonna get that darker color that we put in the crease as well. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that in. Okay, now we've got it darker. Now I'm gonna go in with Creed from the other palette. And I'm just gonna create a wing Okay, and then I'm gonna take this color right here, which is kind of creamy, and I'm just gonna pop that like right in the center, very carefully, because I don't wanna disrupt that really cool green color, but I just wanna enhance, just so that it looks like there's light shining right in the center of my lid. Ooh, I love it. Yep, 
Yeah, that's cool. Then it's like a little pop of glow. Just looks like there's light, like a flashlight shining right there. And I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I put my inner corner highlight down and just kind of touch that up and blend everything in so that there's no weird lines or anything. Then we can move on to eyeliner. I'm just gonna do a, a nude one in the crease, or I'm sorry, not in the crease, in the waterline. This one is by Lord & Berry. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I did actually get like replacements of these in the sale. The um, Lancome Hypnose Drama as my lash primer. I always like, whenever they come on sale, I always just get like stocked, stocked up because they're just so good and I love them. Got that as my primer. And then as my mascara, it's the Lancome Hypnose Drama. Okay, so eyes are done. I am gonna go ahead and brush off my bake. And then I did get a little bit of fallout from that palette. So we're just gonna brush this all off. With a slightly bigger brush, this blush is amazing. I got this in the Sephora sale. This is the Fascinated number 29 from Sephora. These are super affordable and they're amazing. Like, I absolutely love it. The packaging is a little bit cheap. It kind of breaks apart sometimes when you're trying to pull open the top. So if you can get past that and just focus on the product, then it's good. But it's like a really bright, like orangey coral pink. And it just like warms up my face because a lot of the time after you've powdered and everything, you can really like lack color and I can start to look a little ashy. And so I like to go in with like a really nice orangey, like corally color to bring back the life to my face so that I don't look like a dead corpse. I mean, that's just never the vibe, is it? See how it's just kind of brought a little bit of life back into my face and I look like rosy and like happy and healthy again. I was just looking a little bit gray before. We're just, I ended up taking back the uh, Charlotte Tilbury one after I used it I was like wow I actually like this one so much better so that's good sometimes you got to try it new things to let you know that you did like the old one so I'm just gonna spray that really well all over my face I'm just gonna fan that so it's all dry and by using that spray it helps to melt all of the powders into the skin and then it stays all day long like if you're oily and you have acne prone skin that one is amazing because it doesn't break you out it helps control the oil and it really does keep your makeup lasting all day long um and then i am just going to touch up with this was a little set that i got from fenty beauty this is the color champ stamp and it's just a little extra sparkle so i am just going to add that just for a little extra glisten on the lips and then we are going to move on to hair because i did get that um igk there was like a a duo so it was the igk first class charcoal detox dry shampoo and i've just blocked some of my light haven't i or maybe i have not maybe it just got dark in here i don't like doing my makeup in the ring light but i like doing my hair in the ring light i don't know why but anyway so you can see like my hair is pretty greasy at the moment i washed it not yesterday but the day before so we're just gonna try this bad boy out It has quite a strong scent. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's also not bad. It's just a different scent than what I'm used to. It's like quite fresh, I think. Quite clean and like soapy. I like the nozzle though. It sprays out a lot. Okay. Now we're just gonna massage that in and really 
soak up all that oil. So it says it's a charcoal detox dry shampoo, deep cleanse level detoxifying oil erasing scalp soothing. It's supposed to be a deeply cleansing dry shampoo that absorbs oil and eliminates odors. Vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, formulated without sulfates, parabens, petroleum, or mineral oil. So that definitely does a great job of absorbing the oil. Like, my hair doesn't look greasy at all now. Um, it does feel like a little bit of a texture kind of... Like, you can definitely feel it, which I think you can really feel most dry shampoos, though, can't you? But it's done a good job of kind of giving me a little extra body without making it look like white or um, powdery. So yeah, that's quite good. That's actually really good. I'm gonna take the Dossier Floriental Vanilla. This one has mandarin, pear, pink pepper, licorice, jasmine, orange blossom, cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee, and it is the dupe. Let me look on my card here. It's the dupe for YSL Black Opium. So I'm just gonna spray this in my hair to kind of... I always spray perfume in my hair. I know people have said like it's bad, but I still do it anyway. I'm gonna ruffle. Oh, it smells exactly like black opium. It smells really good. I just got this one in. I saw Cassie talking about it in her video and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna give that a go. I mean, I own black opium, so I know exactly what it smells like. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed the look and the items that I picked up from the sale. I would say the Dior foundation is absolutely beautiful mixed with the, co the color stay. It looks amazing. But if you want something a little bit more sheer, it is a really beautiful um, finish. The blush, this one right here, the Sephora uh, Fascinated, absolutely love. It's so pigmented and so rich and so bright and like tangy. I absolutely love it. The Fenty glosses are amazing. That Sephora gloss in Not Today, super pretty. Um, I love that Kim KW. This one is really beautiful and beautiful from Charlotte Tilbury. Anyway, I will link everything in the description box for you guys. I hope you guys all enjoy and found that helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.